OBS 30.2 is finally out for everyone and that brings the Twitch enhanced broadcasting. So what that does is it makes you transcode everything locally, which means you don't rely on Twitch to give you the quality options for your stream, like the 1080p, 720p, 480p, 360p, whatever else. Those are called transcodes. And if you weren't a partner, you weren't getting that every single stream. So if you were an affiliate or even below that, you were basically not getting transcoding ever. Now you'll be able to transcode locally with almost no extra PC resources being used, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'll show you how to enable that and how it actually works. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, so first things first, what you need to do is obviously update your OBS to the version 30.2. That is the current latest version. Maybe later it will be even higher version. So get that latest version that you possibly can. Go to settings and then over here you will see stream section. On the stream section, you will have to log into your Twitch account. So go to service Twitch and then log into your account if you haven't already. Make sure to choose whatever server is the closest to you and you will see the multi track video right over here. So what that does is it enables the enhanced broadcasting right over here. I can't enable it because I'm currently recording on the same OBS, but you will see this button right here. If you enable it, that is it. Like it's basically on and it will be transcoding everything on your device locally, which actually recommends everyone doing so because obviously first thing is it uses less resources on their servers. So it's better for them cost wise, but also because their servers, you know, were pretty good back like five, six, seven years ago when they bought them. Now they're not so high end anymore. And with the recent RTX GPUs, the uh, transcoding is fantastic and it's using, like I said, almost no extra resources on your PC. So make sure to enable the enhanced broadcasting right here. And then on the maximum streaming bandwidth and the video tracks, you basically don't need to do anything. Uh, Twitch even recommends leaving all those on auto if you don't know what you're doing. If you do enable enhanced broadcasting, it will be automatically using 10,000, I think 10,200 uh, maximum bit rate which means that if you don't have fast enough internet speed, you can lower the maximum streaming bandwidth to like 6K or 8K, whatever you want. But the current maximum bandwidth is 10,200 kilobits per second, which means that it will split those to uh, 10,200 into, you know, 1080p will get like 5K, and then it will just split it all into all of those different quality options, like 1080p, 720p, 480p, all of that stuff. If you don't have good internet, I guess you can lower it down over here. But like I said, if you do have it, I highly recommend using it. Keep in mind that 10,000 bitrate equals to around 10 megabits on your upload speed. So before doing any of this stuff, if you don't even know what your upload speed is, go to speed test, run the speed test and whatever upload you have, that's basically how much you can push it to the uh, maximum streaming bandwidth. Keep in mind that they do recommend using 80% for streaming and then leaving the 20% for all the extra stuff. So if you do have 10 upload, I would not recommend using the whole 10 upload because, you know, you might have to play a game or watch a video on YouTube or something and it will crash your stream that way. So make sure to always have some extra that way you don't push it too much and you don't crash the stream for no reason. And that's basically it. That's how you can enable the new enhanced broadcasting. Let me know how it works for your streams. Does your audience like it? Now they finally get the quality options on every single stream and people that have bad internet can actually watch and you can get more viewers. So let me know how that goes. If you did like this video, make sure to drop a like. It would mean the world. If you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see more of my OBS guides, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.